Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 6th through December 12th. So we're just going to see what comes up. I've already done one for the month of December. If you want to watch that for any time in December, I did one for the first week as well. I'll tag them to the end. But what do we have for Cancer for December 6th? through December 12th. Let's start right here. This is going to be an overall energy. What do we have for Cancer? December 6th through December 12th. Optimism. There's a need to be optimistic, to be positive, to not let fear get in the way, to think positively. All right? need to be optimistic. Remember the law of attraction. Your thoughts become things. Think positive. This is for your love life. I feel like it's a time of growth for you. It looks like there's a bright future ahead. Okay, it does look like there's a very bright future ahead. One card, please. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I feel like it is time to uh, get together with somebody and celebrate. You know, this doesn't have to be an actual honeymoon. This is celebrating, okay? It's celebrating time with, you know, somebody that you love. All right? So I feel like that is on the horizon for this week. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? December 6th through the 12th, although we know the timing is fluid. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have? There we go. Ooh. The overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles, so that is stability, financial stability, happy home, comfortable, could be purchasing a new home, could be an inheritance that is coming um, in, the, in the future. This is financial success, it's flourishing, it's uh, family money, it's trust funds, it's family support. Um, Oh, marrying perhaps. Somebody could be marrying into money. They could be moving homes, purchasing a home. Um, whatever this is, this is long-term stability. This has something to do with family values as well. So. So oh, up in your money financial sector, it feels as though... It feels as though you are going through some sort of completion because it looks to me like you're going this you're going through a completion of some sort. You're gonna be extremely happy. There's something that is happening for you that is going to make you happy. I do see you reevaluating your future. I see you leaving something behind. I don't know if it has something to do with a job or or money. Um some of you may be maybe, maybe moving homes, changing homes, purchasing a home, moving in with somebody. Um there is um a reevaluation going on in regards to your money or your work. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork. Somebody, there's somebody around you that you don't work well with. They, they uh, you just don't see eye to eye with this person, uh, you know. Um, and I think that you probably need to go within and, and plan your next move because there's going to be an ending. There's going to be an, an ending that you are going that it's actually going to be a blessing. There's an ending that is going to be a blessing that is going to allow you to be more successful. So something is coming to an end. You have successfully completed some sort of uh, situation in your life, and now you're leaving it behind. Um, 
I do feel like it's going to be an emotional thing. I do feel like you're, you're going to be emotional about this completion, whatever it has to do with. It has to do with your job or your money. There's going to be a change, okay? Put it that way. But it's actually a blessing. Um, now, we have a very uh, wiser. Somebody has grown wiser through some sort of life lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson and they have grown some sort of uh, wisdom with that hermit card. I feel like it's it's time for you to uh, listen to yourself, listen to yourself only. You could be dealing with some people. Maybe you work with some people at work that are giving you poor advice. You know, so beware of that. You could be working with people that, you know, don't really support you, you know, and I would, I would suggest that you don't listen to them. You know, you do your own thing. You listen to yourself and you listen to yourself only. I feel like you're, you are, you've gained some sort of knowledge. You've gained, no, gained some knowledge and now it's time to move on. So however that resonates with you, I feel like for some of you, you love your job. You love it. You love it. You love it. You love it. And, but I feel like there's something that is coming to it. That world card is an ending. That is an ending. So there's something that is coming to an end. Um, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. It is, which is interesting. Um, you could be getting a big payout. Real, real, real soon. Um, I don't know who from, but it could be coming. I don't know if there's a divorce here or a split, and I hate to say that, but there there could be. Um, there's definitely lack of teamwork and seeing something, you know. You're going to be seeing something. Three of Pentacles, reverse, lack of togetherness. Just don't see eye to eye with somebody. There's lack of respect. Uh, there's a need to refocus. You need to refocus. I feel like you've accomplished something. But now this long-term project or whatever is over. And there's freedom here. Becoming free. Somebody may be becoming free or set free. And that's in your money sector or your job sector. But I don't know. It could be in another part of your life. I see freedom. Getting away from somebody that you don't work well with. Okay? This person doesn't respect you. Anyhow, down in your love sector, I feel like you, uh, something is coming, okay? Something is coming. Uh, get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. I feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe you've been waiting for, for love. You've been waiting. There's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of fight. There's been some sort of bickering. I feel like somebody's been playing games and you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this to end. It is about to end. The games are about to end. I feel like there's an unexpected choice in love for you. Okay, and I feel like you're about to open up to this person or this person's about to open up to, to you. I do feel like uh, you have learned some sort of lesson. Maybe you worked with this person before. I don't know. Anyway, you've learned some sort of lesson. And now, now it's like there's some sort of um, angel that is bringing you together with somebody that you least expect. This is somebody that you do not, uh, you don't expect. It's somebody that uh, you have a spiritual connection with. So you are going to be brought together, probably face to face with somebody that, I don't know if you fought with this person in the past. We have a fight. You know, we do have a fight. You fought with this person before. And, maybe, and it could be even a past life. So remember that. We get people that don't understand that past life people come back around. Okay? I do see opening up. I see somebody opening up. Not being so stubborn. Okay? Whether it's you or the other person. You know, this is definitely a spiritual connection. So I do see somebody opening up. Um, somebody may also be choosing uh to depart there could be a fight okay so they're choosing because that three of wands can be an arrival or a departure there could be a fight that causes somebody to depart and they go towards you know another choice because that middle card is another choice it's an unexpected choice in love okay and this is some sort of deep connection so i feel like cancer uh 
there's going to be a letting go of somebody, whether you're letting go or they're letting go, somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. And it could be a third party. It could be somebody that they just don't get along with. They've been blocking their emotions. Somebody's been blocking their emotions. They have. But now there's some sort of truth that is coming out. They're, they're acknowledging the truth. They're seeing the truth coming out of denial. There could also be some lies being exposed that, uh, that uh, change a person's uh, status, per se. Anyway, I think that things, this is, there's some sort of shock. Okay, I feel like there's there's going to be a shocking change. Okay, this is a shocking change. It is. It is. There's going to be a shocking change here. Um, that that really make allows you for some sort of freedom. There's freedom. There's definitely freedom here. Broken free. Broken free from something. I feel like you're going to be broken free. I feel like you're you're uh, or somebody is somebody is breaking free from a contract and they're choosing. Some something else, they're true, and they become wiser. It feels like through isolation, through solitude, through learning some sort of lesson, somebody has learned a lesson about love. They have learned a lesson about, uh, well, it's about love. It is about love, and I feel like now that they have become enlightened, they see a better option. They do. They see a better option. I feel like we have somebody that is going towards that better option. There could be a fight that that uh, instigates that departure or arrival. Okay, somebody could be arriving, somebody could be leaving, whatever. I do see um, definitely opening up, somebody letting their guard down, uh, communicating. I feel like there's going to be some communication, uh, letting go of stubbornness. You know, somebody has been very, very stubborn. They probably were holding on to somebody that wasn't meant for them by the looks of things. Um, But somebody is making a conscious change. They are. They are making a conscious change to uh, bring balance to their life. They want balance. They want harmony. They want love. So somebody is really headed towards a love connection. But that does require making a choice because it's a, there's always a choice with the lover's card. And, and there is definitely a choice. There's a choice between two here. I think that there's some, as far as your mentality goes, I think that you are going to drop something. Seriously, you're going to be dropping something or somebody else is dropping another person. Somebody is getting dropped. There, somebody is, is getting dropped because it's just too much. It's too overwhelming. It's just not true. It's not, it's not true love, right? It's not true love. It's not a true connection. There's too much disharmony. There's too much fighting, whatever. So I feel like this week, somebody is about to maybe may want to reconnect. Maybe you want to reconnect or they may want to reconnect. We could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini. Um, yeah. So anyway, I feel like things are going to change really, 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 really fast. Um, get prepared. Get prepared for... And maybe this person was a player or you were a player. Somebody may have may have been a player in the past but i feel like whoever this person is they have changed they have changed now they just want love they just want love somebody may have gotten themselves in an unsuccessful uh partnership and that's what taught them their lesson anyhow i don't say this very lightly but i do feel like there's there's some sort of somebody could be coming home or i don't know change in the home change in the home or moving home or Something like that. I do feel like there's long-term success here. There's a, there's an opportunity for long-term success to get together. Um, with, I feel like there's a soulmate connection here. If you are completely single, there could be somebody new. There could be somebody absolutely, positively, brand new that comes into your life out of nowhere. Okay? You're not looking where you're going. You're not looking for this person. You're looking down. It looks like you've got too much going on. You're overwhelmed. You're, you don't even see this person and you run into this person. Okay? You run into them. Maybe you run into them on a walk, you know? Um, or you're carrying groceries or something like that and you run into this person. Um, this person could also be coming to work on your home. Okay, they could be coming to your home or vice versa. You could be going to theirs, you know. Um, I feel like this time of isolation is over. I feel like there's a partnership here. It's time. It's definitely a time of change. It absolutely is. Uh, 
opening up is big, communicating, unblocking your heart, you know, following your heart. And I feel like this is a week of following your heart. Absolutely. Somebody's been in denial, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, with the two of swords reversed, that is denial. Being emotionally guarded, you know, uh, holding on to anxiety. Being overly cautious. But I think it's the end of that. I do because of this 10 right next to, next to it. Tens are completions and this is letting go. This is making a conscious change. Somebody is making a change to open up. And they're, and this is like direct communication. So I feel like there's this is where somebody is going to come forward and they're going to, you know, and it's going to it's going to cause chaos, it's going to cause upheaval for you. Or you may you may feel very overwhelmed by this. Whoever you are dealing with, it feels like, you know, they they put their plans and actions like they've been planning it, they've been thinking about it. They uh they're coming forward in a hurry, whoever this person is. So anyway, get prepared. And I feel like you, you're you going to be, wow, with that five of wands, you know, there, that's a battle. You may, you may want to fight this. You may try to fight this. But I feel like this is a spiritual connection. So get prepared for your world to change. Okay? Period. This is a whole new world that leads to love. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week for you. There could be a separation, absolutely. Which leads to a new opportunity. God, angel, spirit, bring people together for a reason. You may, you may be saying, why? Why do you bring me this person? This is not what I asked for. But it's meant to be. So I feel like you're going you're gonna to need time to go within to think about whether you want to... open up to this person or not. I feel like you need to be optimistic. My advice is to give it a whirl. I don't think this is who you think it is. I think it's somebody else. I think that there's some sort of unexpected. This is this is totally unexpected. Somebody's been blocking. They've been blocking or they've been blocked. This is unblocking. Unblocking and opening up. And maybe even falling in love. Okay? Good luck.